What's going on guys, Gitchy1230 here with episode 27 of GTA 5 Talk, and today's topic was submitted by Protagonist Michael, such a suiting name, and he said, do episode 27 on the different planes. Now, that was a top rated comment with 7 thumbs up, so today's episode is going to be all about planes. So as you can see from the gameplay footage in San Andreas right here, I was very rusty at flying planes. It took me a few attempts before I, I got the controls under my belt, you know, got a good feel for it. So these first few attempts are very pathetic, but I quickly figure it out, so we're gonna get along here with the video. So, planes in Grand Theft Auto 5, this is something that we are all very excited about because as we all know, Grand Theft Auto 4 was a huge disappointment for planes. Um, the only real plane in Grand Theft Auto 4 wasn't even a plane, but they were just helicopters. We had like five different types of helicopters and that was it. Now some people said that that was because the map was simply too small and it couldn't fit planes, and then other people had other theories like, um, after the 9-11 terror attacks here in the United States that Rockstar didn't want to put planes in because it was New York City and they were afraid that there were going to be like 9-11 reenactments. I don't know. There were a whole bunch of different theories, but I'm going to say it's just because the map was too small. But now that the map is nice and big, we can finally have planes in Grand Theft Auto V. So far, we only know a few of the planes that are going to be in the game, and those are mainly from the screenshots. You know, um, obviously we're, we're going to see helicopters return, we're going to see the police using them. Um, we can see in plenty of police chases the, the police up in the sky in the helicopters, so we know those are back. But planes, you know, we've got the stunt plane. In the one screenshot, you can see the Cuba or Cuban 800, not sure what it's called. And you can even see a plane like this, the Hydra. So we, we know we have a good assortment of planes in Grand Theft Auto V. But with the map being so big, like I said, I really want to see a lot of focus on the planes. Like, we've already seen a pretty fair amount of them, but I want more than that. You know, I'm hoping that we can get the planes that land on water with the, um, the tubular things along the bottom. So they're like the land water things, you know, and uh, just things like that. Also, I think a great addition would be to be able to fly the planes that are actually taking off in the airport. Now, obviously, these are giant Airbus planes, that's what they call them, and uh, I don't know if that's actually very likely. Um, I don't know, that, that would just be another cool thing to me. Maybe even hijack it and take the passengers down with you. That might sound a little bit twisted, but, you know, it just adds more to the game. It's just more choices, more possibilities. Another question I've been getting a lot lately is about private airports. Now, as we all know, there is the Los Santos International Airport, as we saw in the picture along the bottom of the map when Rockstar released the blueprint-style map. But, uh, what people have been asking me is, Yo, Gitchy, do you think we're gonna be able to have, like, our own private airport? Because, obviously, Michael is rich, and, um, even Franklin, by the end of the game, like, all the players are probably gonna be pretty rich from all the heists and everything. So people want to know, like, for our stunt planes and things like that, can we have an airport where maybe we can have a hangar, which is a building that you store planes in, you know? Maybe we'll be able to have, like, a, a garage type thing that saves our planes. And then maybe we'll even be able to customize planes, because Rockstar already told us that we're gonna be able to customize all the vehicles. And if you want to get technical, a plane is a vehicle, maybe, I think. So, I don't know, will we be able to see some plane customization? At least, you know, maybe the paint job, or just the color of of the um, the rotors and things like that the propellers all that good stuff so I I don't know another thing I'm excited about is that Rockstar has confirmed to us that stunt plane challenges are in the game so that alone tells you that they are definitely putting more emphasis on planes this time around the fact that they have put in custom you know uh, stunt challenges just tells us that they really they want to give planes a nice welcome back so I'm really glad to see that so, uh, having said all that, it is going to be great to see planes come back. That is going to be the main method of transportation for me, getting across the map, because uh, the map's going to be way too huge to walk or even drive. You know, when we want to get around quickly, planes are going to be the method of choice. For me, anyway, um, the Hydra in these screenshots looks so awesome, so I really can't wait for that. So, guys, tell me, what do you think in the comments below? How do you feel about planes being back in Grand Theft Auto V? Um, what are your thoughts on planes in general in the game? Once again, I must apologize to you for my terrible flying skills. Um, flying the planes in this game were actually uh, a lot more difficult than I expected, but I tried to make do and tried to uh, do some tricks, you know. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please stay tuned for more Grand Theft Auto V in the future, and I will see you next time.